Okay, this is my week of training, starting from 12 weeks out to 11 weeks out uh, from the GPC British Championships. As usual, squats were the first exercise of the week. This is 245 kilos, I decided to only go up uh, 2.5 kilos from last week as last week was pretty tough. Uh, this is three doubles, so I improved on the total number of reps and kind of how easy they felt. Last week's felt a bit high, uh, this isn't a direct side on view so I don't know if these were in or not but they kind of look it. Speed work after that was with 170, same weight as last week. Uh, none of the speed work this week felt great but maybe that's a good thing that I'm having a deload next week and uh, I can move on to just pure strength stuff. And uh, There's Scott and Daz making rude hand gestures to each other. Scott even playing with his Johnson as I do in my set. Seducing does. Uh, these were rack presses, followed by end range rack presses. Uh, I got up to 160 this week. These felt really good uh, for four sets of four, and uh, these were followed by end range, rack, end range rack presses, where I got up to 170 for three sets of four. So, you know, I'm uh, keep, I kept the reps basically the same as last week and everything but added weight and uh, yeah I feel like my bench is the thing which has gone best out of anything this week uh, did some uh, inclined mill presses after these some military presses and some rear delts just for shoulder assistance the workout after this was deadlifts but there's no footage as uh, basically my working weight was 250 and nothing moved so I was just not in the mood to film anything that day. However this is uh, the bench workout, his Hassan handed 180 kilos out to me so I seem to have maintained quite a lot of my strength since the Euros, this is 180 for a single, it's not the fastest but you know it's 10 kilos off my gym PB. Uh, followed that up with uh, 172 and a half kilos for two uh, for one double and uh, another attempted double, but only managed to get a single out. Just kind of missed a lockout on the uh, on the last rep. As you can see, this is the first double, and it, it looks really hard, especially on the second rep, and it was. So, but all in all, I'm happy. After this was some speed work with blue bands. I think I tied myself out quite a lot uh, with the first three working sets because this moves unsatisfactorily slowly. So, um, you know, but I was giving my all. So, uh, the the whole kind of theory is that as long as you uh, are trying your hardest to move the bar fast, then you will develop some speed. So, it's all good. This morning was pause squats. This is 170 kilos. I did six sets of two here. They actually felt quite good. Uh, not the fastest I've ever moved a pause squat with that weight and nowhere near the heaviest weight, but everything seems to be coming back to me. This is a pause squat at the bottom and with a pause at just uh, above 90 degrees. Again, these are feeling good. Again, this is 170. So, you know. This this morning session wasn't too bad. Uh, I followed these up with the same weight, two sets of five on wide stand squats. Again, these felt super awkward, but they'll be good to keep in there. I didn't do sumo deadlifts after this, uh, simply because I've decided to stop deadlifting twice a week, at least for now. Simply because, um, you know, doing two deadlift sessions a week uh, is fine. I feel is fine, you know, for... Um, when I'm training normally but as I'm training with this back injury it just seems like what's the point of uh, of making it potentially making it worse all the time taking two steps forward and one step back I would prefer to just have a bit of extra recovery as I'm not hitting the weights I want to with deadlift at the minute anyway it makes sense to at least let myself allow myself to recover and in this session I can focus more on bench pressing which is exactly what I did after this I uh, did five sets, five working sets total. First three sets were over pauses with really, really lightweight, 115 kilos. I had bench the night before, but this is just to get some uh, extra volume in. 
please excuse the ambulance going past the house. Um, and uh, I've basically made a decision uh, with regards to my injury. Uh, sorry, these are some uh, pause photo presses. It's really hard to see, but I'm pausing an inch above my chest. And uh, this is just to, you know, to, to build strength in that area. These feel really intense on my triceps, actually. Yeah. So they're uh, another really good variation. Yeah, so I've made a decision regarding my injury. Uh, I talked to my physio the other day. I'm going to do a full meet at the British in 11 weeks' time, uh, just because it's it's basically in my hometown. I don't mean just in Manchester, it's basically right right near where I grew up. Um, and it is, a, it is, you know, it is a full powerlifting meet. It's squat, bench, press and deadlift. So I'm going to take the option to do all three. And uh, it probably will mean that I'm not going to recover as fast as I could if I, if I just did bench only and laid off the squats and deadlifts. But after that meet, um, the next one is Tattooed and Strong for me, which will take place in either the end of February or early March 2016. And uh, if my injury is still um, plaguing me by by uh, the time it comes to start prepping for that, i.e. after the British Championships, I will just do bench only for Tattooed and Strong. I'm going to let my injury heal up. I'm going to rehab like mad. So all I'll do is rehab and some very, very, very light stuff on squat and deadlift just to maintain my flexibility uh, and let myself heal up. I want to get back to where I was. And... Uh, when I do do bench only, you know, it's a bit of a running joke that I'm not the best at bench press, but I will give it my all and my bench will improve a lot, I can guarantee, when I do make that switch. So, yeah, that's it for this week. I'll be leaving next week out as it's a deload week, so I will catch you the week after that.